Merry Christmas, my people. Welcome to the Score Channel. Recently, I made an ad for our Facebook and Instagram accounts. And since I released that ad, a bunch of people have been asking me how I made this ad, whether I paid somebody to be Santa or what. Like, everybody wants to know how I made it. And so my Christmas present for you guys this year is going to be to show you exactly how I did it. So let's run the ad so you can see it. It's really quick. And then I'll show you step by step everything I used to make it happen. You don't need me to get a great gift this year. SCORE is slashing prices on its English exam test prep programs. So call SCORE today or visit prepwithscore.com to learn more. And Merry Christmas! Before I continue, I just want to say that I'm not sponsored by any of the products or companies that I'm about to mention, but I would recommend all of them so far because they've all been really helpful for me. Question number one is, how the heck do you get Santa to say whatever you want? And here's how. I found this company about a year ago called Syntesia, and what they do is actually pretty incredible. They're using deep fake technology to allow you to sort of generate a person saying whatever text you want. And their product demo is actually these Christmas cards that I, I checked out last year and made a couple and sent them to some friends. And that's what got me thinking I could use this for the ad, right? So um, the way it works, you create a greeting video by just typing in whatever you want here. And then after a little bit of processing, they'll send you a link to your video, which is what I have right here. And this is the one that, you know, it has Santa speaking to us here. So you can hear this year. Score is slashing prices on its English exam test prep programs. Yeah, so basically that's the source video that I need to work with, but then we got another issue. I mean, this thing is covered in Synthesia branding. There's logos everywhere. I kind of want a different background. I want to put some other text on this. So what I have to do is download this file and then I'm going to show you the next steps. We're going to fire up Adobe After Effects. We have a paid account for Adobe because it's totally worth it. And again, not sponsored by Adobe. I kind of wish I was. After Effects, we're just going to make a new project. And over here, I'm going to import the file that I need. So this is going to be my, the first thing I have to do. Now, the other thing I have to do is make a new composition and we're going to set this to a ratio of four to five. Oops, no, it thinks it's five to four. Let's fix that. There we go. And that is the size that I need to use for ads on Instagram or Facebook. What I'm going to do is bring this down here and then double click on this to go into the layer. And what we can do in here is use a tool called the Roto Brush. And the Roto Brush is going to try to figure out like the area that I'm selecting and basically with each frame, remove it from the background. So all I got to do is sort of paint this around Santa here. So I'm going to paint it like through his little hat ball thing down to about his elbow and then to his wrists and then back up and around until we get to here. Now you'll see that this has formed this little pink line around, which tells me the part that it is going to extract. You'll notice it didn't get his buttons. So I'm going to fill in the buttons and just a little, it knows what I'm trying to do. I don't have to cover everything perfectly, but then we also have this other issue where there is this space here that needs to be removed. So if I go back to my rotor brush and I just hold alt, I can subtract that out and there we go. So now what's going to happen, is I'm gonna hit play and it's gonna to try to process that same move for all of the frames. So that's gonna take a second. Might chug on the computer here. We'll probably just fast forward to that. You don't need me to get a great gift this year. Yeah, that's what that's what it sounds like when you try to, you know, do this in real time. Obviously, if your computer sucks, this is gonna take longer, but just be patient. You can see the green bar here tells me kind of how far it's processed. Me to get a great gift this year. Now that we're done processing, you can see that if I go back to my composition, I got a Santa here that I can just move around and do as I please with. So I'll put him down here at the bottom since he gets cut off there. And then all I need is a new background. I'm gonna use Storyblocks. We pay for Storyblocks also. And man, Storyblocks is great. So if I just search for Christmas background, let's see what comes up. I think it might've been something like this one here that I used. But anyway, I could just grab any one of these backgrounds and use it for this project, like whatever I want. And we'll take our background, put it behind him. We'll just need to scale that up a little bit. I could probably have downloaded a 4K version so that wouldn't be an issue, but it'll look just fine on your phone. 
and then we now have everything positioned the way we want. So this is ready for export. I'm not done yet. I got to do a couple little more things, but we're going to do those in a different program. We're going to fire up Premiere. So in Premiere, I've taken the video that I got from After Effects with Santa and the background, and all I want to do is add a couple of things to it. So I'm going to add in particular this, this text that you see up here. So these little boxes that fly up with the letters for TOEFL and the words, the perfect gift. Now, I could have tried to do that all by myself, but that would take a lot of work. And so that means we're going to go back to story blocks. And I actually looked for Christmas text. And one of the things you can find on here a lot of times are like pre-designed animated text that you can use for different things. So uh, these are often presented in Mogurt format, you know, M-O-G-R-T. And those are really cool because you can just plug them into Premiere and get what you want. So I found the text that I was looking for in here by searching around for that. And then all I had to do was load that Mogurt into the essential graphics column. So uh, to show you how that works, very simply, if we go to the window and look for Essential Graphics, we'll see here, it's a little slow. Essential Graphics are a little slow. But we'll see here that I have you know, the option to add new ones down here, and I've added a whole bunch of Christmas ones in here. Yeah, so I added all these Christmas titles that I got in a single pack. Like, you know, here's one that has one gift and mentions Jesus. Here's a little like manger with love. And anyway, I chose this one here. Originally, the text says Jesus, the perfect gift. Fortunately, that's five letters, which is exactly how many there are in the TOEFL and IELTS. So it really couldn't have worked out any better for me here. So I just to go into edit and I can change each letter and each option, right? I have a T and an O over here. And so that's it. I just dropped that in. And now I have my my TOEFL, the perfect gift. And then, you know, over here it switches to IELTS when those appear. Uh, so you can see here it says IELTS now, the perfect gift. And that's it. Once that's done, I just simply export this file and you have this ad. That's all there is to it, my people. It's actually really, really easy. This took me about 30 minutes and half that time was me waiting for the file to come out of Syntesia and for me to actually find the assets that I needed on Storyblocks. I probably spent more time just sitting around waiting and browsing than I did actually making this thing. So it's not uh, that difficult and it didn't cost me a cent. Anyway, we hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas from everybody at SCORE and I'll see you next week.